everybody, it's Ryland, and welcome back to another episode of Philip's Refurbishment. Yay! So first things first, um, I've already made a design. I'm not sure how I feel about it 100%, but it's based off of the furs here that I have. Um, because this is the fur that I just already have. So I figured I'd try and make a design with these colors. I think they go pretty much, like they go well together for the most part. And uh, there's also some grays and stuff that I can use from the old fur um, and some scrap pieces from when I made Flip the first time. But here's a picture of the design. Um, I think it's nice, I like it. It definitely, you know, looks different. It doesn't look bad. The other thing I'm gonna be doing while I refurbish Flip is I'm gonna be trying some new techniques and things before I use them on some other suits that I'm making just to you know make sure that it's gonna work well and give me a chance to practice on it and depending on how I like the suit I may or may not be selling it after I finish refurbishing it so there's not gonna be any hand paws or anything like that it's just gonna be the fursuit head but I may end up selling it just throwing that out there you know this is gonna be kind of like a tutorial series but also just sort of a documenting my experience and adventure as I go through this. And like I was saying in the last video, the first thing that we're gonna do is take Flip here. We're gonna take him and take all of the old fur and things off of him. Take a look at the base, see how it's deteriorated, what I need to fix, maybe add some new things on it, carve it a little bit. I've made a lot of suits since him, so there may be some things I wanna fix. I may end up changing the design a little bit or tweaking it here or there um, as we go, but that's my general design, so I'm excited about it. I hope you guys are too. Uh, so without further ado, let's get right into the second part of the video where we start taking him apart. Yay! Oh my gosh, this is going to look terrifying. So I'm going to start with this eye since it's already kind of coming out. Second eye was a lot easier to get out. All right, so this is a uh, flip without the eyes. And uh, honestly, I did not realize how big the holes in the head were for the eyes. And I don't know why these eyes are so small because honestly, I could make eyes that were way bigger and really like make the vision a lot better in this suit. So I may just do that. Um, I, I may not use these eyes at all, actually. So I've got the eyes out and uh, now I think I'm just gonna start trying to tackle it uh, one at a time. I think I'll try and go like around the part around the, the snout first. I'm debating whether or not I should go from the start of the snout or from the eyes. I think I'm gonna go from right here and score it at the jaw and just try to try to peel it off a little bit at a time. Flip, no. Oh my gosh. So this is how it's uh, looking so far. I've already found a ton of pins. Um, and honestly, it's starting to look more like Yogi Bear or something under here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Alright, so, um, okay, well, first of all, this is the first time I've done this intense of a refurbishment. I've never taken all of the fur off of a fursuit head, so you can, um, you can kind of tell that this is the first time I've done this, but 
oh my gosh, there's a bunch of stuff where the glue is sort of deteriorating away. Um, I had to take the whole nose off because there were like five or six pins in the nose and I couldn't get them out because of the glue. So I just had to rip the nose off, but that's okay. I can replace it. I've got more foam. Um, and also the, um, shaving on here and carving, not a huge fan of, like, I don't know why this is this diamondy shape. I don't know. But, um, well, that's what's on the inside. This is sort of the, uh, havoc that is left over. <laughs> and, uh, his ears and things. I'm gonna still take these off of this. But I've got a good amount of, uh, of dark gray fur here that is relatively untouched because it was never glued on. Um, and I'm still gonna use the ears, but I, th oh my gosh, this is so scary. Like so this, these are all the pins I found inside the head. That, I'm not going to count them just now because I'll just put that the count of how many there were up on the screen right now. But, oh my gosh. That's, and the scariest part is a lot of those were like right here and right here. And I know for a number of times that I had fallen face, like face down in this suit. And I cannot believe like that those pins were right in there because they could have like stabbed me and that is so scary. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, and the next episode is going to be about recarving this, adding new foam, all that fun stuff. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell notification. That way you guys can see all my school stuff if you haven't already. It sounded like I said school. I meant to say cool. And stay tuned for the next episode where we do that. Okay, bye!